Hello, hello, pretty makers. Today we're gonna do a very whimsical Dollar Tree Easter DIY. I do love cone trees, so I wanted to make some for Easter. I'm out of my comfort zone here with these because of the colors, but I'm really pleased how they came out. I think they're elegant, very high-end looking, and of course, make a great collection, which you know I love. These cone trees go perfect with my cone gnome. I made one last year and used it in some of my displays, which some people have requested I do a tutorial. So here it is. All together, this makes a very pretty display for your Easter decor. I also have a bonus a little later for how you can use these cone trees in a different way that you don't want to miss, so make sure you keep watching. As always, I'll leave a full list of supplies in the description. I had a lot of fun making these, and I can't wait to show you. So if you're ready, let's go make something pretty. The inspiration for these cone trees were these Dollar Tree file folders. I picked them up a while ago and just thought they screamed Easter. So I knew I wanted to use them in a special way. Let's start with how to make a cone. You can make any size you want, but I like the paper mache cone from Dollar Tree. So I made a template out of poster board. Using the original cone as a guide, I traced the curve onto poster board and cut it out. It's pretty easy. I keep my template so I can use it again for different projects. The file folders were not big enough to make the large size cone, so I had to piece them together. The turquoise folder was a little harder, so I'll show you that one first. The back of the file folder had some branding on it, so you can't use the entire portion. I cut out the parts with no print. Then pieced it together, trying to match the pattern the best I could. I used packing tape on the seams in the back to keep it together, making it as seamless as possible. Then I traced my template for the cone onto the file folder and cut it out. Next, roll the sheet into the cone shape. Start at the point and make that as tight as possible. You have to work with it a little bit to get it to the right point. Then you work your way down until you have the cone even all the way around. Keep the bottom on a flat surface so it will stand flat. Use hot glue to secure the seam. Start at the point and make sure it's holding before you move down the seam. If you look closely, you will see where it is pieced together, but it blends very nicely and it's not a big deal. Do the same for the paisley folders. At first, I couldn't find the second folder for the third print, so I ended up making a small version out of just the front of the file folder. Keep watching to see what happens when I finally find the second folder. To make these look more high-end, I added some hot glue molds. Yep, you know me, I love using these molds. They add such a pretty touch. For the turquoise, I made some borders. You need about two and a half to go all the way around the bottom. For the paisley, I used some large swirls, about four. And for the third print, I used some smaller swirls, again, around four, goes nicely around the base. I took all of the pieces outside and spray painted them gold. Glue the embellishments to the bottoms of the cones. Start with the borders for the turquoise. Seam two pieces together with a little hot glue to the ends. 
Then add some heat and some more glue to the back to secure it even more. Put the long strip you just made on the base of the cone, leaving the ends unattached. Cut a piece from the third strip to fit that gap. Then glue it all in place. I think these molds are what really take it to the next level. Next I glued the other embellishment to the paisley cone. At the last minute I did add some gold button molds with some gems. You'll see that in just a minute. And finally, smaller swirls to the small third cone. I'm also a fan of the look of finials, so why not add that touch to these cone trees? Using some Dollar Tree wood snowmen and trees, I painted them gold with my trusty paint pen. Then little by little, I trimmed the points of the cones down so I could fit the finial in the top. Trim a little at a time. You don't want to trim too much and it not fit. Once you have it fit, glue the finial in place. And that's it, you're done. I like putting these on candlesticks. It makes them look like trunks for the tree and it also adds additional height. Here's the third cone. I finally found the second file folder and was able to piece enough together to make a bigger cone. I added the smaller one on top which gives it a little different look but goes perfect with the collection. Now for the gnome. I made a plain poster board cone from my template. I added some turquoise Dollar Tree glitter paper on the top two thirds of the cone. I did have to piece it together with two sheets, but you really can't tell. It doesn't have to be perfect at the bottom, that will be covered. For the beard, I used some Dollar Tree dusters. You need about three to go all the way around. I ripped them open down the seams, then glued them around the base of the cone. For the nose, I painted a ping pong ball with light cream colored paint. I wanted this gnome to go with the cone trees. So I made two more hot glue border molds and spray painted them gold. I glued them together to make a ring, similar to the borders on the turquoise tree. I was able to slip it over the top of the cone so it meets the beard. I didn't glue it in place. Glue the nose in place to the cone underneath the band. I had these bunny ears left over from last year, so I don't have footage of that. I just cut them off of the headband. I used some of the printed file folder for the inner part of the ear so it would match the collection. I think this was a nice touch. I was actually able to slip them behind the hot glue band because it's not glued down and had a little give. One more hot glue medallion in the center and yes, a little bling. A finial on top and you're done. I placed him on top of a gold Dollar Tree candlestick, which was perfect. You can actually decorate these gnomes any way you want. My original one had flowers and some Easter eggs, which is super pretty. I hope you saw something today that inspired you. If you did, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave me some comments. I thank you for watching and keep making pretty things.